Yo, yo, what is up, world's Mega player wizard here with a nice, hot, fresh, and sexy tutorial on how to install Minecraft hacks on the new 2017 Minecraft launcher. I thought this was pretty straightforward, but there have been a lot of questions, so I figured I'd throw up a nice little tutorial for you guys here. So not a lot has changed since the last launcher when it comes to installing hacks, but I figure we're going to be doing this one. So... Just a little bit of general information before we get started. This tutorial is universal for Mac, Windows, and Linux computers. The only difference is the hack client file drop location, which we'll cover later in this video. Before we get started, make sure you are able to see all files in your operating system. This is key especially for Windows and Linux users. There are a ton of tutorials out there on how to show hidden folders and hidden files on your operating system, so just do a quick web search and figure that puppy out. Arf, yep, 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 aloo, good job. All right, after the hacks are in their file location, we will then open the Minecraft launcher and configure a profile that will allow hack client usage. Remember, hack clients go in the Minecraft versions folder, just like the standard Minecraft version files you download directly from within the launcher. First, let's take a look at where to install hacks on the Mac. So the easiest way to do this is to go to the top navigation and go to folder, and then put this little bad boy in there, library application support, Minecraft, and then jump right into the versions folder. All right, now on Windows, click that nice start button and then search for percentage app data percentage then go to the dot minecraft folder and go to versions now finally linux go to your home folder go to the dot minecraft folder and go to versions yeah now that our hack file is in the minecraft versions folder let's open up the launcher and make a profile for our hack client so to do that launch minecraft select launch options within the navigation pane click add new type in the name for the profile Make it something you'll remember, preferably the name of the client for easy reference. Select the versions dropdown and select the hack you want to associate with the profile. In this example, I am selecting Notice Reboot. Yep, I got it. Do you? Nope. <laughs> Alright, now select the resolution if you would like and then click Save. Go back to the Home or the News selection within the Navigation pane. Click on the arrow that is right next to the Play button and then select the hack profile and click Play. Yay, congrats, enjoy them hacks. After this video, I'm gonna play the previous two videos I've done on how to install hack clients. If you guys wanna get a little bit more reference or just a little bit more general information, this tutorial was pretty down and dirty, pretty straightforward. But if you need additional help and support, make sure to join the Wizard Hacks Discord channel. There is a link in the description. So I love it, thanks for watching, super cheating, this is without me. Yo, 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 what is up? World's Best Minecraft Player Wizard here with wizardhacks.com to bring you a quick and dirty, and I mean dirty, tutorial on how to install Minecraft hack clients with the new Minecraft launcher. If you're wondering what the new launcher is, the new launcher just came bundled with the 1.6 version of Minecraft that was released earlier today. Like I mentioned, this is a quick and dirty tutorial for experienced hack client users that are familiar with the Minecraft file system integration. As you can probably tell on the screen, this is not like a typical tutorial I do. There's not really much on-screen text to follow, but I am going to show you an example. If you are new to Hack Clients, I recommend watching my original How to Install Hack Client tutorial video, then picking up with this one where it leaves off. The link to the original is in the video description. So although this is a newer method on how to install Hack Clients because of the new launcher, it is just as simple as the method used in previous versions of the game. So let's get started. Navigate over to your Minecraft install folder. Windows, Linux, and OS users will find this in a different location on their respective systems, but all OSs have a search feature built in where you can search for the Minecraft folder. Once you have found your Minecraft folder, browse and look for the versions folder. Once you find the versions folder, open it. Within the versions folder, make a folder for your hacked client. In this example, I'll just name the folder Hacked Client. Within the Hacked Client folder you just created, place your JAR and JSON files for the Hacked Client with both files having the same name. If your Hacked Client does not come with a JSON file, you can create one using the original Minecraft one, just making sure to change the ID name and any specific dependencies the client may call on. After making your hack client folder in versions and placing your hack client jar and JSON file in there, open the Minecraft launcher. You can either create a new or edit an existing profile within the launcher. 
In this demonstration, I will be creating a new profile. Set your preferences as you please, and within the Use Version drop-down menu, you will see the hack client you installed. Select that client for the profile, save the profile, then play using that profile to launch the hacked client. Boom! That's it. You're done. For more Minecraft hacks, mods, tutorials, and more, make sure to check out wizardhacks.com. You feel down! You just got tooted! Yo, 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 what is up? It is Wizard here with a quick overview on how to install a hacked Minecraft client. I have been receiving a large amount of comments, questions, and messages lately on installing hacked clients, so I figured I'd put together a quick little video for y'all. Alright, before we get started, let's review a few notes. The operating system I will be using for this tutorial is Windows 7. If you are a Windows XP or Vista user, the process will be very similar. If you are a Mac or Linux user and want to see a tutorial for your OS, just hit me up and let me know. Always make backups of any file you are tinkering with. Trust me, it will help prevent future headaches. And make sure to visit wizardhacks.com for the latest Minecraft clients. Okay, let's get started. The first step in installing a client is to go to Start and type in percentage app data percentage in the search bar and hit enter. This will open the local user's app data roaming folder. Navigate to and open the dot minecraft folder and then open the bin folder. In the bin folder you'll see a minecraft jar file. This is the file you want to back up and probably the name of the hack client you downloaded. Rename minecraft.jar anything else so that way your hacked version doesn't overwrite the original game file. After renaming your original minecraft jar file, place your hacked minecraft jar file in the bin folder. If you downloaded a hacked client that isn't named minecraft.jar, just go ahead and rename it to that. And that's it, you're all done! The next time you launch Minecraft, your hack client will be running. If you want to play the standard Minecraft game, just rename your backup jar to Minecraft. Alright, in review, this video contained Windows 7 as the operating system, and I went to Start, Search, and searched for Percentage App Data Percentage. Always make sure to back up your original files and the Minecraft jar file is located within the user app data roaming dot minecraft bin folder and always make sure to check out wizardhacks.com for not just the latest Minecraft hacked clients but for all kinds of good mods, cheats, glitches and other fun stuff. Alright y'all thanks for watching this video I hope it was helpful don't be shy drop a like drop a comment and I'll see y'all cuties later